What is good, everybody? Today we're back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. Coming at you with some brand new news or some brand new images of some upcoming figures that I'm very excited about. We had some cool things drop in here, and I want to get into it and dive into it. I wanted to upload this yesterday, but it was Father's Day, so I do apologize for that. We also had our epic whatnot stream last night. Do appreciate everybody that came through, spent some money, spent some time in the stream. It was a lot of fun. It always is, man. So anytime we do a whatnot stream, do your best to get over there. It is always a blast. We always do a lot of surprises and some awesome stuff. So I appreciate everybody that came. Game three, you guys are absolutely amazing. But let's dive into the news, man. Let's get into these packs that were talked about, man. These would have not been included if I uploaded yesterday. So it is good to see that we have these packs. This upcoming Undisputed Champion 2 pack with the championship here in the middle, as you guys can see. They don't make them like they used to, all right? Those foam titles, they, now they're all thin and they fall apart like a garbage bag. This, this right here, you know what? They look good, though, I will say. They do definitely look good. But this Roman Reigns basic coming with an LA Knight basic, which is a very unique thing here. I do like the attire on the LA Knight, but look how pale they made my man right here, man. LA Knight looking like a ghost, man. They made him a shade lighter than his Elite, or they made him a shade lighter than his last basic, and he looks a bit weird, but he does have the good head sculpt in there. They're not using the goofy one. They are kind of repainting his first basic, and it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, even though the skin tone's a bit off, which I don't know. We'll have to see about that, but it does. It looks good. It looks good, and at least it'll match if you want to put that head sculpt on your Elite. I do believe it'll work this time, but Roman Reigns is just your run-of-the-mill Roman. It's a good-looking head sculpt, but it's the same head sculpt we've seen so many different times before. The package is also cool, but you do have an LA Knight Roman Reigns 2-pack championship rivals deal going on, which is cool. I, I like it. Not bad, you know, not for me, but for somebody out there, for sure. Back, back of the packaging, kid looking like Zack and Cody or something. And we also had this Imperium 3-pack, which is going to be a main event series 3-pack, and these look pretty cool. I just hate how standard the packaging is. I wish the packaging was better, but it is kind of your run-of-the-mill pack there. I don't know who's going to be grabbing this, but it's just a re-release of three different basics. You do have, you know, we have Vinci, we have Ludwig Kaiser, we have Gunther, they're all three together there, and I know I don't know. It's a bit of an odd release. Also, it looks like Vinci is kind of floating right there because you know his legs match the background, so it looks like floating legs or torso under boots. But yeah, this is what it is. It's basically re-releases of previous basics we've seen. It's, yeah, and it's nothing crazy, but it's a cool pack, you know. If you want these three guys together, it'd be a cool pack to get maybe autographed all together or something. But an elite three pack definitely would hit different. But I don't know. Something about the packaging is just so standard to me. But let's move on, man. We're taking a look at just the this wave, man. I, I've talked about this wave ever since we saw it, ever since I laid eyes on this wave. The first series, the second series, doesn't matter. I have been blown away by these sets. This is the Target exclusive Team NT crossover with WWE, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, WWE Elite figures. Like I said, Target exclusive. We're looking at Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, and Rey Mysterio here today. These figures look absolutely awesome unbelievable. So creative. So many cool things. I love it. Let's start off with Rey Mysterio. He has his full green here. He's supposed to be Raphael. I love the red accents to the green. The green's a perfect color. I love how you have his daggers like right down the middle of the waist going down into the pants. You have the dagger or the sword on his face like where the cross would be which is another creative element. They just seem like, I think this thing was just hands off. They were like, Mattel just go crazy with it and I think it paid off because it just looks so good. I love all the parts. I I love all the, you know, colorations and things we're seeing here. This entire set of figures from Series 1 to Series 2, I don't care. I, again, I'm not even a big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I like the Ninja Turtles, but I don't even have my own collection of Ninja Turtles things. These are so damn cool, and these are going to be some of the best figures we see all year, man. This Raphael, Rey Mysterio with the little dojo or the little kendo stick holder deal that you can put the swords on. He's got this entrance shirt. They just went all out on these, and it's so fun and creative. I am loving everything about it, but the Rey Mysterio is the first figure. I do see that he's coming with regular size mic holding hands and then glove fisted hands. I think Rey Mysterio mic holding hands are something that desperately needs to be included in the line and that needs to be something that Mattel works towards. But the second figure in this set is going to be Seth Rollins, the Leo Seth Rollins. I mean, my mind is just going crazy with different fix-up ideas. I mean, I have brainstormed so many different looks for this guy. I mean, you're talking about head swap and what's crazy is you can take the vest off and then get rid of anything Ninja Turtle related and he like, if you remove these knee pads and move some stuff around, it'll look like a regular crazy Seth Rollins gear. You know, there's no Ninja Turtle branding on the tights. There's no craziness like this. So you could easily make this guy into some wacky one-off Seth Rollins gear that he would rock in real life. So that's what makes this really fun. You could switch out the kick pads. You switch out the knee pads. You can acetone a couple things. You could just play around with these so much. And that is why if I see these guys, I'm hoping I find multiple copies because I just want to have fun with these on surgery and just experiment a little bit with what we got going on here. Maybe we can play around with some different things, make some really awesome looking figures, and that'll be really fun to do with Seth Rollins here. He comes with the, the katanas there, look amazing. The entrance 
stuff. He's got the goggle. It's just a fun figure overall. He just looks so sick. I do hate that they use these big AF knee pads, but again, he is also coming with a little stand holder that looks great. And I just love everything about this. You could easily fix this guy up. It's going to be a blast. So that should be really fun for Seth Rollins. Just a beast, man. Just an absolute beast. But the star of the show for me personally has to be Casey Jones, Cody Rhodes. This is one of the best figures of the year. As a big Cody guy, you put this next to that Shredder Roman Reigns. It's just going to look unbelievable. These look like they were made in a lab, man. I mean, I'm saying this in terms of just how custom these look. The mask is just so damn sick, man. The American Skull Mask or the American Nightmare Mask. You have his regular tape or the Casey Jones style tape. Comes with a bat, comes with the hockey stick. You have his weight belt that goes across his body like, you know, Casey Jones' belt there. And then you have this one-off attire that he's never worn. The hoodie, man. The hoodie is what makes the whole damn thing. This sleeveless hoodie that has the logo on there. And there's no Ninja Turtles branding. So you could put this shirt on, like, every Cody Rhodes we've ever gotten, man. It could work as a promo gear. So there's just so much going on here that I love this figure. It is such a cool figure. I mean, again, my mind's going crazy with fix-ups. I have so many ideas for this, and that is why this figure I hope is easy to come by. I hope it's not one of those that eludes us so easily because there's so much going on here that I mu I have to get multiple copies of this. It's just such a sick figure. I love it. This is easily going to be one of the best figures of the year, pairing up with Shredder Roman Reigns. I would say putting the Defining Moments head sculpt on here is probably what I'm going to do because I think I would like that better. This is kind of like your standard Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes head sculpt, but just everything about this is just the coolest thing I've ever seen, and I, I hope we get more crossovers like this. I know we we had the Ghostbusters back in the day. That doesn't even hold a candle to these, in my opinion. I think these crush those, but it could just be, you know, whatever. But I think even the packaging for the Cody is amazing with the masthead sculpt, you know, on the packaging. Like, the art is just amazing. But let's get into some of these other figures, man. Starting out in this basic series. We have basic series or main event series 149. We have Maxine Dupree, which is the first time on the line. Didn't see this coming at the slightest, but I do like the likeness. I think the likeness is good. Her attire is a bit flat. You know, all the women's basic figures are pretty much flat for the most part. Got her shoosh gear in there, which looks cool. It's a good looking head sculpt. Maybe we can make her into an elite or something like that. Have to mess around with some formulas, but she looks pretty good in basic form here for basic series 149. They're just not main event to me, man. They're basic series all day, but we do have the promo gear Cody Rhodes, which we did see at WrestleMania. It's a pretty cool one. You got the sleeveless hoodie and the black joggers. It's a weird kind of looking figure. It look, kind of looks like workout gear, but at the same time, I like it. It's, it's going to be definitely something I pick up if I see it at retail. I don't think I would overpay for it, but it's still a cool one. It got the claim your kingdom hoodie. Pretty cool. Pretty cool overall. Still wish they would use the damn Defining Moments head sculpt, but what do I know, Brad? But it does look cool. We also have this Miz Basic in the purple suit, which I also think is cool, and he comes with sunglasses. Now, a lot of people saw this, and immediately they think of Seth Rollins. I think this is more of a Seth Rollins fix-up that you do. Just a simple head swap, but I do like that it includes the sunglasses. I think that's unique. We haven't really seen, I, I mean, we have seen a Miz Basic in suit, but, you know, it's been a minute. It's been a few series there to get another one of these, and I know he has that clear, weird see-through plastic, and and you can see the joints and the different bells and whistles that are inside the figure, which is kind of weird. But we have seen that with the, you know, the invisibility cloak Seth Rollins that we talked about from San Diego Comic-Con last year. And with Comic-Con just being a month away, I imagine that we're going to get... So, oh man, I cannot wait for it. Cannot wait for it. Feels like Comic-Con was yesterday and now it's already back around. So I'm excited for that. But we do have this purple basic mist. That looks pretty good for the most part, man. I'm not going to hate on it. I think it looks cool. And I think, I think everybody that sees this figure immediately thinks, oh, the head swap with Seth Rollins easily. But let's move on to Sheamus man. This Sheamus is kind of a, a re-release, nothing too crazy, just a plain black attire. Got a decent looking head sculpt in there. It's a repaint of his previous elite figure, which isn't bad. It's not a bad figure overall, but yeah, I'd certainly like to see, you know, something new for Sheamus moving forward. We also have Eddie Guerrero here with the lighter skin tone. It looks good, man. I like this attire. I like this head sculpt. It's a solid looking Eddie Guerrero basic. Perfect, really, Eddie Guerrero basic. I don't really know what else you could want out of this Eddie Guerrero. I think the head sculpt and likeness is really solid, and that's all you really need out of a basic figure, man. If that if that head sculpt's solid, the rest of the neck down, you know, I think it could be hit or miss. I think what you really want to nail on these basics is going to be the head sculpt, but I like this Eddie Guerrero basic a lot, even if it is basic, but let's move on. We have the Mattel Creations exclusive LWO 5-pack. We're finally getting some official renders here, or official images, not official renders. We saw renders and, you know, the CGI style photos from a long time ago when we ordered these figures. I did order two of these 5-packs. I'm definitely going to be reviewing it here on the channel, and I think I'm going to leave the other men on car, but these look pretty 
pretty good for the most part, I'd say. All members looking good. I think that Santos looks probably the best, I'd say, out of all of them. And Zelina doesn't look bad, but something about her eyes just looks so big to me. And that could just be this specific, you know, version of the specific pack here. But her eyes do look a bit big. I don't know. There may be something you could do to fix that. I don't know. We'll have to see about that when the time comes. But I think the whole set's looking pretty good. I like the cloth good shirts. I think the promo gear, Rey Mysterio, looks pretty good. The mask looks really good. I like colors that are... A lot of good colors coming on here. I like the Zelina Vega formula. She looks like she's going to be able to pose around well. The double jointed arms and such look really good. I think this is going to be solid. Now, Rey Mysterio's hands are massive. He does have massive hands. They did give him normal hands compared to what Rey Mysterio probably should have. I've seen people use women's hands before for him, and they work really good, but you will have to get rid of the tattoos depending on what hands you use. And so, for the most part, man, I like this pack. I do like this pack. I think men on card, it looks really sick. I like all these bells and whistles and the colors like we stated. I think this is going to be a very fun pack and definitely a pack that I keep men on card for one set, and then I will open the rest to do a review of this full thing. But it should be fun, man. We get some first time. You know, you got Cruz over there. You got Wild over there on the other side. It's pretty good. Good. It's pretty good. I'm liking it. I think this was a cool creative release. You got some cool formulas in here. Hopefully all these guys pose around well. They all look like they're going to pose around well. And I'm excited to see Rey Mysterio even if he is on the John Cena shoes. Hopefully that promo gear Rey is pretty cool. Maybe we can make some other things. But this is a cool pack. This is an overall cool pack. I remember when they showed this off. I love five packs, three packs. Any big pack of elites is going to be an automatic home run for me. But I'm excited to review this, see what this looks like in hand. Hopefully within the next month. Maybe we'll get these in before Comic-Con. So hopefully that'll be the thing. Thing, but this looks pretty good to me. Now, also, we had some other basics here. We have this CM Punk basic. Now, I will say this head sculpt looks weird to me. I don't know what's exactly going on here, but something about the eyes, like misprinted or something. I don't know. It looks a bit off, but we do have that Wolverine style gear. And we also have the Chase variant, which is going to be the watermelon gear, is what I'm calling. You got the pink and green in there, and it looks better to me. I like the Chase variant better than the Wolverine gear. And the head sculpt doesn't look as misprinted as the last one, but it's okay. It's okay. You know, our first Punk figure is kind of back here before, you know, he returns. I know he's going to be pumped out so much. You have the, you know, the MSG return live event. You have the made-to-order punk that should be here within the next year or so. You have his ultimate that should be revealed at San Diego Comic-Con, maybe beforehand. You have his Defining Moments Elite. So, lots of CM Punks to come on the horizon, but this one looks okay. We also have Lita, which I think is trash. It's a re-release of her previous basic that came in the battle pack with Trish, which is uh, not a bad figure. It's just, God, why couldn't this be something new? A new head sculpt, a new body. Something new with Lita would have been nice to have in the line, but we'll take it, I guess. At least it's something. At least is something if you missed out on the first go around but we also have a look at the rock which is basically a re-release of the the basic series 100 is what it is not the best not my favorite it's just very plain jane to me Head sculpt's solid, but it is a bit oversized still, to me at least. It just, I don't know, not the most exciting. But then we also have Stone Cold. Solid Stone Cold. I do like the white knee braces. It's a good head sculpt, but it's just a, it's just plain Jane. It's very plain Jane. It would have been cool to see a shirt or something in here maybe, but I don't know. It's, it's difficult, man. It's difficult. I would have liked to have seen even a Jorts. A Jorts basic would have been cool, I think, if they could have included that. I know we did get one in the recent championship showdown pack with Triple H, but not bad, I guess. You could use the knee braces for something. And then we also have Rey Mysterio, which looks flatter than a day damn pancake bread. I just think it just looks so bland. Get that yellow, white, and black. It's just very bland. Like, when I look at this, it looks like a female figure in terms of... It, there's just not a lot going on, man. You have, like, painted on bicep bands. Everything just looks flat. There's no dimension, really. And it just looks flat to me. I don't know what's going on here, but head sculpt's not the best either. It's the same head sculpt we're seeing in the Monday Night Wars line. I just am not a big fan of it, man. I'm not a big fan of what we have going on here with these basics. However, I think it's, it's a solid gallery of figures. I think that, to me, easily, the team and T-Line. I cannot wait to find Series 1 of that. But even Series 2, the Cody and Roman Shredder are two of my most anticipated figures of the year. There's plenty of other figures that we're going to get this year that I'm highly anticipating, but those two are at the top of the list for me. Cannot wait to see what those guys look like when it is time to do so. Can't wait for it, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up our news for today, or our image gallery. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on all these figures down below. What is your figure that you're most hyped for coming in 2024? And hopefully we'll get some more news as we roll into the month, man. I mean, we're almost, we're over halfway done with June. And just in a moment, we're going to be at July, and then you're going to blink, and it's going to be Comic-Con. I think Comic-Con's, what, July 25th or something? So we're almost about four weeks away, which is going to fly by, as you guys know. What is life sometimes? But I can't wait for it. Should get more news as we approach it. And it should be really fun. Can't wait to go out there and see all you guys. But huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellas, man. You guys are absolutely incredible. I always love and appreciate all those fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for your support. I love you guys so much. But I'm getting out, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.